on Film, a program designed to keep you aware and informed on everything that's happening in the world of faith and family films. Now, if you've been watching the past few shows, you'll know that I'll be, I've been talking a lot about, you know, hardcore, edgy, horror, suspense, thriller films. But don't get me wrong. Don't mistake me. I actually am a huge fan of Hallmark-type movies. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, during Christmas, I bet you I watch at least 20 of those uh, Hallmark Christmas movies. They just make you feel really good. And that's what's exciting about today is my guests have, pro have produced a movie for Hallmark. And so I have the producer and I also have the star of the movie. So it's a very exciting day for me today. Siobhan, oh my goodness, I forgot I was supposed to ask you how to pronounce this. So I'm probably going to screw it up, Siobhan, uh, but you'll okay. correct me. Siobhan... <laughs> O'Shaughnessy. Osh O'Shaughnessy. 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 <laughs> yes. Okay, well, Sh Siobhan began her career as the, pres uh, the president of international sales for PM Entertainment. Her 10 years in the position resulted in the production and sales of over 176 feature films and two successful television series. Siobhan has created ACI Inspires, ACI Inspires with George, oh, here's another one, Shamaya. Shamia. Shamia. <laughs> I'm so good at messing up names. The newest oh. brand of inspirational entertainment focusing on family films for everyone. Now, Danielle C. Ryan is an American actress and producer. She landed her first role at the age of seven, uh, playing alongside uh, Evan, Rachel Wood, and Vivica Fox in a film, Little Secrets. Uh, quickly catching the film bug, she went on to film Universal's Cat in the Hat and ABC's Little House on the Prairie miniseries. Danielle has starred in many, many large films and television shows, including Criminal Minds and Magnum P.I. Man, I can't believe I got through this. Ladies, welcome to Faith on Film. Thank you. We are so excited. We're all excited to be here. Oh, well, good, man. I just, uh, you know, I've, I've always been good at messing up names and, uh, oh, well. It is, it is what it is. I am who I am. So listen, let's take the next uh, couple of minutes each, so four or five minutes, and tell us really a little bit about yourself. Uh, Siobhan, we'll start with you. Who are okay. you? Well, I have, like you said, I've been in the business for 32 years. And oh my gosh, you started when you were nine? I was nine, yes, I was nine years old. But no, I was just, I, I finished an international business degree from the American University in Rome, and I had just come back to Orlando, Florida. And my mother had said to me, Siobhan, guess what? Universal Studios is opening up in Orlando, Florida. And I'm like to my mom, going, who cares, mom? We got SeaWorld, Clickers World, Disney World. You name every single park in the world, we got them. I don't really care. But... I, by chance, I was looking for a job. I ended up seeing it, and something told me to go in. And they were using the backlog from an independent, and I got the job and was sent to Continental Festival, and that was 32 years ago. And been loving it every single day of what I do. I just think it's the most fun and creative. And so we're having a good time. I absolutely love what I do. I've been doing this for very many years. Um, and so, <laughs> okay, I'll say it. I, it's probably been at least 45 years. I started when I was like, oh, well, 17 volunteering at a network, and here I still am, and I, I do absolutely love it. Uh, now, Danielle, you started very young. Uh, tell us a little bit about you. I did. Um, I've been in it, wow, about, about 20 years, and same thing. I just, I love it. I started off with, uh, with Little Secrets. Mm -hmm. And immediately caught the bug, loved everything about it. Came to LA, did Cat in the Hat, just kind of kept running with it. And I love everything from behind the camera to in front of the camera. And it's it's an industry you have to love. Yes. You have to love every part Hurry of the up. process. Up, yep. downs, whatever everything. it is. It's just and, I, and I do. And it mm -hmm. kind of helps me persevere through some of the more difficult times. And, mm -hmm. you know, you just get these projects that you get, you're so passionate about and that you love being a part of. And it, right. I just oh, it's so much fun. Well, this is, I don't know if you knew this, Isaac, this is our third movie together. Really? Yes, mm -hmm. that we're doing. But, and, but our first one, our first one, like, it was funny because we were doing our, uh, our second Amish movie, and it was called um, Love Finds You in Charm. I and love I Amish had all movies. Cast, I had all these casts, except for the main Amish girl. And I was going to all the United Talent, all the casting agents, and none of the girls were doing Amish. They put that little bonnet on their head. They're going, no way. No way can I bring Amish. 
and I'm a week away from shooting, and a friend of mine um, tells me about Danielle, and I'm calling up, and I literally I'm talking to her mom. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm just saying we've got to get her. And she had done um, Christmas for a dollar, which we had we were distributing for um, Ron at that time of Covenant Group, and we just loved her. And she was on that plane, and she made it. And we, it was one of the best, and it was one of the first films for um, Bentonville. Bentonville Film Festival yes. and Walmart loved it and was thrilled with it. So we've done since then movies with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> now, a little bit of useless information. Uh, Danielle, you were born in Upland, huh? I was. Yeah, yeah right on the border of Rancho Cucamonga. I, uh, I, I wasn't born, I was actually born in Mexico, but we were here since we were very young. I grew up in Chino, which is right there right very there. close to you uh and mm -hmm. the past oh i'm gonna say 20 something years uh I, uh I i lived in rialto but went to a church there in rancho cucamonga so i i'm very familiar with all that area then i finally left it and came here to texas um, yes it's, it's, yeah that's good choice but my parents still love they still live out there and so i, I visit quite often and it's yeah it's nice oh, really? where in texas mm -hmm. Oh no, well, well, I have family in Texas, but I also, my parents still have a house in Upland. Oh, nice. So nice. they're still there. Yeah. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick little break right now. And when we come back, let's talk a little bit about this movie and why you think it should be uh, so important that as many people as possible watch the movie, all right? All right, <laughs> folks, don't go away. We've got so much more of Faith on Film. Ever wanted to binge watch family-friendly TV without all of the commercials? Well, as a mother of two young children, it's vital that I have a platform I can trust. And 24 Flicks is where I find incredible movies, shows, comedy for me, and for my children as well. And for only $3.99 a month, it's a no-brainer for us. You can join other moms like me by going to 24flicks.com and get your seven-day free trial. Got a postcard from the grandkids. They went to the ark. Yeah, what does it say? Well, Annie says they had a blast and that it's really, really big. Everything looks big to a six-year-old. Well, Hudson says it's even bigger than the castle. It can't be that big. Can it? Go ahead, think bigger. excited today because I have the executive producer and star of the kind of movie that I really like actually which are these just really nice love story type movies I know you guys are good looking at me probably going what but hey I am who I am so um, late um, this movie finding love in Mountain View which uh, is supposed to air on a Hallmark Channel on September 19th uh, why is it so important that as many of my viewers watch your movie well, let me tell you whether, how the story started. Okay. This is based on a book. Mm -hmm. And the book originally was part of the Love Finds You, which I was telling you that she was first in, of uh, the Guidepost books. And it was a Western story. It was called Finding and Love Finds You in Bridal Veil. Oh. But when talking to the channels, they wanted something more modern. 
Right. So I took this book, which I love the whole idea of it. It's one of my favorite writers out of the Love Finds You series. And she, Mary Lee did it, and she got the rights back. So that's why we could change the name. But it's a beautiful um, story of a girl who is busy. Mm-hmm. Find yourself, would you say? Mm-hmm. Find yourself busy and professionally well, uh-huh. but has kind of lost the part of herself that is love. Yeah, she's just heart. she's so career driven that she's kind of just on this one one way path. One path. You know, she has a boyfriend that's great. Everything's kind of mediocre in her <laughs> outside of work life, and um, you know, she gets a call from from her cousin's attorney and her cousin and her husband, who was her best friend growing up. They passed away in a car crash. They had two young kids, and they left the kids to her. But oh, wow. she has to go to Mountain View to be with the kids, and it's just it's a complete shock. Because it's just, it's, it's away from work. It's away from everything she knows. And it really is, it's such a beautiful love story. Not just because her high school sweetheart kind of comes back into play. Ah. Um, but mm-hmm. um, but also, she really falls in love with the kids. And it was so fun to film because yes. Michael, who, who plays the high I school love sweetheart. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. We all got along so well. We were literally like a little family and all of us cried at the end when we had to wrap and you know, we stayed in touch with the kids. So it just it 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 the love kind of radiates throughout but what I think I think the message of the story, which is what I loved about it, is mm-hmm. the fact that like you said, she was on that one singular path. Right. But with this whole disruption, she found herself a love love of music again. The love of family, the love of these kids brought her to find out the ultimate part of herself which right. is what I think is the most empowering of these that we sometimes think we're so powerful when it's a bit one-sided about love of family, love of your love of your interests, and just being the best person for the society we can be. And yeah. that's what one of these books are about, is becoming the best person we are meant to be here for. And she really became more happy the, the more selfless she came. Yes. The more she kind of dove into making other people happy, she truly kind of became happier herself. So it's, you know, she just, she learned to love so much. Yeah. So it's, it's not so much that having a career as a woman is a bad thing. It's just that sometimes it can get to a point where it disrupts what would be a family life. Is that kind of what? No, it, 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 I think, think you have to balance it all up. Uh-huh. And I think sometimes as women, we just think we're going one direction mm-hmm. and then that should be everything else. And, it's not, we can balance it all. Hey, we are yeah. super yeah. well. I, mean, I, I, have, I have my cake and it's mm-hmm. in the back, but we can balance it all, but we sometimes forget the balancing. Uh-huh. And, we, and the nice thing about the book, if when you want to read it, the book has all those very um, religious parts of it that can guide you too, which has paraphrases from the Bible as well. Okay, so then uh, that, that leads me to a, another thought here, and that is, are you classifying this as a faith-based movie or no. is it you're not you are you're yeah. not. I'm not i'm not the book it, is it just oh the book is the um, book is the movie okay. is more general it's okay. more mainstream market with 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 sea planters mm-hmm. in it for well, sure but yeah, sea I, planters. I, I think that's been the problem with uh with faith-based movies is they seem to they seem to go in this direction of being a sermon in a movie and and I think that's, in fact, somebody just recently pointed out why are Christian movies so, and I forgot the word he used on there, but it wasn't a good one. Um, and some people started commenting and they said because they focus more on the message than than the artwork, than the, the uh, you know, the art of it. Uh, the, and uh, that's always been kind of a problem, you know, but I think just movie, well, first of all, I don't think there's such thing as a Christian movie. What in the world is that? What is a Christian movie? I mean, is there Christian bread? Is there Christian cars? You know, is it because a Christian made it? I don't know. But I, I think it's good to me to have movies that are acceptable, perhaps, to a, uh, to a Christian audience only because, you know, you, and it's not even just a Christian audience. It's, it's people in general. We need to kind of start feeding our, ourselves just good moral content. Does, does that make that's sense it. to you? I want to do moral content that the whole family can sit down yes. and watch. Yeah. I think some of the channels have just gone a little bit too far for me, but I'm not trying to they, preach to anybody. I'm not saying one's over better than the other one. Right. I just want everybody to be together 
and have something. And they did a test. Disney did a test. When you watch an empowering uh, movie, such as Rocky or somebody overcomes something, which you did, you got happy thoughts for two weeks. Two weeks. I, that's why I love watching those Christmas movies. And it's, it's, really, it's really funny because those Hallmark Christmas movies, I mean, they're literally somewhat cookie cutter. I mean, you're aware of this. I can tell you already they're going to cut a tree together. I mean, there, there's just all these. <laughs> they're going to do Christmas cookies together. And gonna yeah, go all that. Together. And yet, all I that, absolutely yes. love them because when, it's, when the movie's over, I feel really good. And you're smiling. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, does yours have a bit of a cookie cutter feel? I mean, uh, and this love interest, it's not a oh, Christmas movie, so you don't, different. but do you make cookies together? We do a little baking. She There's does a little, little baking. <laughs> she does oh. a little baking and we do the, um, uh, going to get ice cream. Mm -hmm. So ice instead cream? of, instead of hot cocoa, they get ice cream. So we have that. That's cool. And, um, but it's just, they feel good that she does come out of it smiling and knowing that, Hey, She's even better than she was when she first started. But she does not wear a uh, Amish bonnet on this one, right? No, no bonnet. bonnet. Not the Amish bonnet. She did the first one. She did the first one. Oh, just the first one. You're right. Right. <laughs> Well, uh, listen, if, if people, first of all, if, if they're not able to watch it when it does uh, come out on, on the, the Hallmark Channel and, you know, they missed it, they were away somewhere, maybe they were in church. It will be on Hall it'll be Hallmark now. Hallmark now on their so video it'll, streaming. So it will be on demand. It will be on demand for Hallmark, yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Hopefully we'll also one day have it on one of the platforms that I work with. Yes, yes, that's what we're trying to do. Trying to sneak that in there. Um, <laughs> if they if they want to if they want to just keep up with you, Siobhan, uh, is there a website that they can follow all your work on? It's all at aci-americancinema.com, and we got a whole bunch of new stuff coming up. So please have them look us up. Excellent. How about uh, how about you, Danielle? How could they follow you and just keep up with what you're doing? Um. Instagram, IMDB, that's that, that kind of stuff's always uh -huh. showing what's coming up and what I'm working on. So I let's let's say Instagram at what? It'll just be Danielle C. Ryan. Danielle C. Ryan. Fantastic. I will put it down at the bottom of the screen right about here so people will be able to have it and know it. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much. It was a lot of fun uh, chatting with you guys today. And uh, hopefully we can get an opportunity like this when you got another movie coming out. Maybe your fourth one with Siobhan. How's that? That'll be perfect. Great. Yes. It's a date. It's a date. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. Eighty percent of Americans want more family-friendly content. Eighty percent. So what's the solution? Twenty-four flicks on demand. That's right. Twenty-four flicks provides unlimited, safe, family-friendly content without profanity, nudity, sexual content, and substance abuse. You can enjoy movies, TV series, comedy, sports, and so much more. Simply go to 24flicks.com. 24 Flicks, it's your home for unlimited, family-friendly, on-demand videos. Dad? This is a lot of work. It, it might take us the entire weekend. You think this is rough? Try building one of the most massive wooden ships in history without modern tools. Go ahead, think bigger. YBL is an experience like none other. Whether you are thinking about a call into leadership and ministry or something else. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I learned a lot about having self-confidence in myself as a leader. Even though we're teenagers, we still have the power and the capacity to change the world. God can do amazing things in a very short amount of time. The material that we studied, the activities that we did, really helped us to see that. Going to YBL and hearing from professors that are my future professors and professors now, coming to Asbury is really like a continuation of what Youth Become Leaders was. It was really important having a group of people my age who wanted to do what I wanted to do. We kind of end up as a family, which is the best thing I think about YBL.
Welcome back to Faith on Film, and we are here today to start a new segment uh, that's going to be a regular segment, and that is an update from Holly McClure. Holly, how are you? Isaac, always good to be with you, and thanks for having me on. This is fun. We're to finally going to do it. Feature. We're finally going to do it. Now, there's going to be two, doing it. There's going to be two more weeks where it'll still be the three segments of my guest, but after that, uh, it'll be you every week with me. Yay! Talking about our favorite movies and what's going on in the film industry and in Hollywood and the faith community. Absolutely. Now, I know that you were able to see the movie that uh, we just uh, talked about in my previous uh, two segments here uh, with yes. Siobhan and, uh, and the star of the movie. What can you tell me about it? Finding Love in Mountain View. Well, did they already explain the premise and the whole story behind it? Did they already talk about that? Where, um, you know, it's this yep. uh, single single woman and she's, you know, finds out her husband, her cousin and her husband have been killed in a car wreck. And she, the lawyer says, come, we need to read the will to you. And she shows up and thinking she's going to get something or it's something to do with her cousin, who was a childhood friend, finds out that she's got two children who she's left him with. You know, um, I really thought, first of all, it was well done. Right. Um, it, that's a very hard subject and a very difficult mm -hmm. subject to tackle in a lighthearted kind of Hallmark kind of way. But they did it uh, again. You know, they showed her um, having a boyfriend. He went out of town and then she comes here and she reconnects with Andrew, who was a, a guy that she did have a relationship with years ago, but they kind of grown apart. So he has become the child psychologist for the school. So he's connected with the kids. And so it gives you that background that, OK, they've been going through some kind of counseling or some kind of something with him. And it shows how the two get together again. And uh, then, of course, there is the grandmother that's involved, Bertha, which I thought was hilarious. Natalie, um, what's her name? Uh, Karen Day. Natalie Karen Day. She has that unmistakable voice. She was in Sling Blade and she was in uh, October Sky, which I love that movie from years ago. It's a great family film, October Sky. If any of you have not seen that movie, it's a great fall movie. It's a great um, relationship movie. Rent that October Sky. But she's that unmistakable voice where she has that twang and she talks like that. I just love her. And um, she was great. But I thought it was a good film. It, it had the faith values of mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. They all sat around and said what they're thankful for. So if you're looking for something to watch, over the holidays, you know, this is a good family film. It's got Thanksgiving, so it's got that theme. And that would be great to watch for the fall before the holidays. Right. And it talks a little bit about bullying and a little about death of the parents and how the kids are missing that. So, again, um, and then there's a, a child, a boy who feels like he's different. I think the difference is that he likes to sing and he's being bullied for that. And so um, uh, Margaret work, uh, works with him on singing and how he can uh, sing for the talent show. And so I think kids will relate to those awkward child feelings and the things mm -hmm. that the kids go through. They run away because of a misunderstanding. And so there's a little bit of drama in there. I just I thought it was a good film. Yeah, I think it's, families will enjoy it. I was going to say it's a good film then for an entire family to sit down and watch. I do think so. And again, it is um, a Hallmark kind of film. So mm -hmm. don't expect the big drama that you may get on, uh, you know, primetime TV these days. Right. But it's good. That that's safe. Excellent. You know, you don't have to worry about it. They they handle the death of the parents delicately um, and let the kids express themselves a little bit for that. So I think all of those issues I, combined, I, it was good. Well, great. Now we got two minutes left in two minutes. <laughs> Tell me what's new and what's happening out there right now. In okay, the two minutes I'm real excited about. <laughs> Remember, Isaac, when Courageous came out with the Kendrick yeah. Brothers? Yeah. Courageous. Okay, mm -hmm. love that movie the first time. Well, Courageous Legacy is coming out now, and Courageous Legacy is, again, the same film. But guess wow. what? They added on a new ending. A new ending. So if you watch it, it's a 10-year span, uh -huh. and it catches up 10 years later. And I thought, okay, I'll watch it again. I'm doing it. I'm telling you, I laughed at things. I cried at the scenes. I literally blubbered over the death of his daughter. <laughs> I laughed over the Javier. Yeah, my name is Javier. Well, didn't you come with that? No. Did you? Uh, that's a funny scene if you guys haven't seen it. So that's good. Now, they also have a movie called Show Me the Father. And Show Me the Father is oh, a yeah, documentary okay. on what the father-son and father-children relationships and how they are, are encouraging fathers to take a role with families. So that's also right now in theaters and coinciding. So it's called 
Show Me the Father, which is a documentary, which is really well done. It will make you laugh, cry at the same thing. And it really relates to men and experiences they went through with good and bad father relationships. So it covers that. But Courageous is opening at uh, the end of September, I think the 24th. In theaters? So um, that'll be in theaters. Go support the Kendrick brothers. Um, Isaac and I know them very well. Alex and his brother, Stephen. Uh, Ken Beville is stars as Nathan Hayes in it. Robert Avella is Javier. Kevin Downs, our dear old friend, uh, plays the Sean uh, Fuller. And if you'll remember in the first one, he did some drug dealing and he went to jail, to prison, right? Right. Well, there's redemption there. So of wait course. for the ending and it <laughs> okay. redeems, it oh, redeems. Right. And Ben Davies plays the younger guy. So again, it was fun seeing all the characters Terrific. age 10 years and it was fun bringing the storylines current. So go see it and support Wonderful. it again. You'll enjoy it just as much. Wonderful. Well, thank you for uh, this update on that. And uh, I, I really look forward to having you on every week. Oh, thank you, Isaac. I look forward to being on with you and your audience. This is going to be fun. It will be, folks. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Love the classic movies? Well, 24 Flicks has you covered. You can watch some of your favorite movies and TV shows you've known and loved. Watch anytime and anywhere and as many times as you want. Simply go to 24flicks.com and start watching now. 24 Flicks is your home for unlimited, family-friendly, on-demand videos. Meet Will. Will wants to make a movie based in Bible times. No. Maybe a Western. Well, maybe an apocalyptic movie. A biblical era apocalyptic western? That would be so original. But Will needs some sweet sets to bring it to life, and Will is 25,352 miles away from any of those sweet, sweet sets. Or so he thinks. Fortunately for Will, there is a solution. Introducing Capernaum Studios, your ticket to realistic locations and everything else you need to bring your period accurate story to life. Book a tour today, like Will, who is, um, yet to leave. They say it's really big. What's really big? Those aren't silly. Oh, I know. It's bigger than the size of our house. It's a little bigger than that. Like the size of two houses. No two houses and a spaceship. I bet it's even bigger than the castle. Don't be ridiculous. That's impossible. Welcome back. I have totally run out of time. I barely have enough time to remind you that if you want to look at past episodes of Faith on Film, just go to YouTube.com and look for Faith on Film TV. That's YouTube.com and look for Faith on Film TV. And of course, I want to invite you to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Faith on Film TV. Until next week, take care. <laughs>